This video was brought to you by EA Game Changers. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. Today we are here with the latest pack from The Sims 4 and it is the Industrial Loft Kit. I feel like this one pretty much just appeared out of thin air. I had no idea that we were getting a brand new kit and initially I was actually excited until I realized a lot of these items can be easily duped in game. However, I will save all of my thoughts and opinions uh, for the end of the video because obviously I haven't checked it out yet. Curate the contemporary. Trendy wooden steel frames give weight and character to this furniture collection for a comforting warm aesthetic. Smaller features like sharp angles, wheels, and mesh mix and match neatly. Expose the elements. Metallic vents, piping, and lighting fixtures evoke a sense of history that melds with modernity. Make the most of a space with sliding double doors and and large windows that fill it with light. I've got to hand it to the Sims team. This description has definitely left me feeling rather intrigued. However, do the words match the content? Mm, I'm not sure I'm quite sold just yet. However, I will admit there are some assets that in these preview pictures totally captures my attention. For instance, this couch with the blanket, also this coffee table is quite unique. Now, I will say this bed is a literally a doppelganger for a bed that we received in a previous pack. Not sure which one it is, but trust me, it's there. I can see it. Also, the little bar, stools, and table are kind of nice. Let's go back to that picture really quick. Um, I'm not 100% sure if this a uh, wall decal is a part of the pack, but I also see um, some piping and exposed venting. Ultimately, I can't base my decision on pictures, right? So let's go ahead and hop into game. I've gone ahead and laid out everything from by mode in this IKEA showroom floor type of style. But keep in mind, there are like three build assets that I will be showcasing later. So first and foremost, we have the bed that was in the cover art. I actually really do like this bed, even though I'll admit it's super similar to the one from City Living. There are some subtle differences, for instance, in Instead of having a wood frame, it has like this distressed metal one. Also, we don't have the curtains. Thank freaking God. I do like the simplicity of this. Not to mention the beautiful color story. I really appreciate they kept everything very simple when it comes to like the wood and metal tones. But they've also transcended into this more simplistic look when it comes to the fabrics and also like the embellishings of the uh, comforter itself. And also the jewel tones. I really love jewel tones i feel like this particular color palette is going to blend almost effortlessly into the existing content that you will have in game to go with our brand new bed we do have a end table nothing too elaborate is happening here at all but there is the mesh that was mentioned in the info cards and here are the swatches i do like that you can truly mix and match these items just to add a little spice and variety but since this kit is going for the whole industrial vibe what is industrial without exposed pipes i love exposed pipes i don't play with them enough but here's the gig if you have all of the packs in the sims 4 chances are you have all the pipes and trust me there is a lot of pipe to be had in case you don't there are these two little decor items here this is like truly an art piece in my personal opinion it features like some uh cranks and wheels and pipes that literally lead to nowhere but it's an interesting piece to look at. Now, here we have like a true pipe that again, goes to nowhere and the length on this particular asset is a little confusing i wish they would have added in some variations here like more uh maybe some taller ones or something like that so at least they would reach the ceiling naturally if you're feeling a little funky you can go ahead and scale it up but there's a few swatches in here um that actually feature like distressed metal almost like let me go ahead and kind of zoom in uh i like that it's a very like rustic weathered look next up we have the city roots plant stand yes y'all this is a plant stand it literally has no functionality at all whatsoever i do wish it was functional in the sense of maybe it acted as a bookcase i don't know or possibly there was a couple empty shelves so that you could throw in your own plants just to make it truly yours i will say the item itself is pretty nice and totally embodies that whole minimalistic industrial vibe that is pretty consistent throughout the kit. However, I will say uh, 
uh, there's maybe a couple items in game that could easily dupe this or come pretty damn close. We have this gorgeous three-seater couch. This is one of my favorite items in the pack, if not my favorite item. I really love the texture of the leather. Then if you turn to the back of the couch, you can see these beautiful like piping details. And then also I feel like the blanket was a really, really nice touch. I think this particular color palette looks absolutely breathtaking on this couch. Of course, there is a matching armchair, which I totally appreciate. And in terms of swatches, they pretty much resemble the same exact swatches that you would find um, on the bed. And then let me see what else. I do wish though, okay, I will say this. I do wish that there was a two-seater version of this because, you know, maybe you do live in a loft. Like not all the time will you have enough room for three individuals to sit their caboose. I don't know. So originally I was kind of captivated by this coffee table until <laughs> Get Famous said, Bish, I was here first. That's right, y'all. There's literally a table from Get Famous that looks almost identical to this. It's kind of scary, but there are, again, some subtle differences. So this little decor item, I like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Here are some of the uh, color swatches there. We do have a nice little pop of yellow, which I think actually looks kind of nice. I don't know. Uh, moving on to our brand new bar table and stools. I do, I do like this. This is weird. I don't know how I feel about some of these items being so similar to other items that we already have in game, um, but I like it. I do like it. I like the height of this. I also love, oh my God, the different types of wood textures in here. This does look a little blown out and diffused. They could absolutely uh, sharpen this just a tidge, but I will admit, I actually really like this set and even these uh, bar, like the bar stool seats, chairs, whatever. Um, those are kind of fun too. And they have like a few different colors to them. Um, but again, just pretty, pretty chill, pretty subdued. And then there was the finders keepers dresser that didn't really look so much like a dresser and more like a hutch. I feel like this asset is really, really, really versatile. Like you could easily use this in so many different scenarios, but it does match the end table with the mesh. And then there are some cute little clutter items at the bottom here that I wish I could like take out and decorate with because they're so damn beautiful. Um, this is a really interesting piece. I actually, I actually like this too. Ooh, and the pop of the lighter metal with that deeper, darker wood. This little tree thing here, bush or shrub or whatever, doesn't really like move me, okay? First and foremost, I feel like we already have something in game that's very similar to this, but also it's just, I don't know, it's kind of just blah. It's not that, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not like a, like a, I'm not like, you know, gagging over it, basically. Then we have some wall art, I guess you could say. It's almost like this distressed signage that has been weathered over the years. I don't know why you would put this in your house. Um, maybe, you know, possibly if you're creative, you could envision, uh, maybe the wall that your bed is against was maybe an exterior wall at one point. I don't know how that would happen all the way here at the top floor of your, you know, studio, but I don't know. You could definitely use this, especially like on builds in Sam I Um, I feel like this would be a really cool detail to kind of add to the exterior of like a bar or something like that. Uh, there are a few different swatches to be had. How do I want to do this. I kind of want to show you guys over here because against the brick, it actually looks a lot better than a flat wall. But here are some of the different swatches and styles. Not a lot of variety, uh, but there are definitely quite a few selections here. And then we have this little, like, I don't know if this thing actually spins. This is a Hot August Nights fan. <laughs> and then let me see. Oh, I almost forgot this guy. So here we have a, a hallway table, but you could also double this as maybe um, a little like TV stand if you wanted to. And I feel like that looks really nice here with the whole living room set. Uh, we have this fur rug or the fuzz rug. Now we have two of these already in game and you guys will see because I'm gonna do like a comparison of this showroom floor to content we already have in game. You're gonna see it's actually quite similar. However, this fur rug is a lot larger. It also does have um, some patterns in it, as you guys can see, but I don't know if it's really worth the difference, to be 100% honest. And then uh, the last thing that I have to share with you guys are these little ceiling lights. Um, they come in 
like sets of three and we have like uh, different adjustments on them. So you can have one that's like super close to the ceiling and then you'll have like different heights and stuff just kind of depending on your build. I guess that could be useful. I was seriously this close to forgetting about the brand new ceiling ventilation system. So there are three pieces in total. We get like a little corner piece, this little mid section here that has like some air ventilation and then just like a little regular uh, plain Jane connector piece. Now I'm gonna show you guys quickly what they look like when you actually have them on the ceilings but I'm gonna be really honest with y'all I feel like these things are probably the most pointless asset I have ever seen and also I will give it this we don't actually have um any type of ventilation system in the game right now but there are ways that you can obviously cheat it but my main gripe is the fact that well for the moment we aren't able to change our ceilings so no matter what Okay, your wallpaper looks like you're gonna have this blank white ceiling. When I'm playing my game, usually we're looking down here, there ain't nothing interesting happening on the ceiling and it ain't gonna start now. So once we get some ceiling wallpapers or whatever, then we can start talking about decor. When I think industrial loft, I'm thinking of a small apartment in San Myshuno. So I was a little bit confused and a bit bamboozled when I saw the size of these damn freaking doors. They're huge. I wish they had smaller variations or maybe um, a glass door just like this but like a single version maybe this was on the top we had like that for the actual structure of the door itself I don't know it is pretty I do like the glass and I love um, the metal accent on it but I feel like it's just too big and it sucks that these are the only two variations that we have we also have these barn doors here um, that can actually match the glass doors and I do like the kind of like um, metal siding that is on them those are pretty fun but again they're just kind of unusable in my personal opinion because I probably wouldn't use them on an apartment build but maybe something a little bit larger let me get me started on this window okay we don't like her she is an imposter I feel like we have a million windows that look exactly like this including one that actually comes with the base game nobody's gonna know they're gonna know how would they know early today James posted a video where he literally recreated the industrial loft kit cover art using assets we already had in game granted those assets were you know spanned over five different packs for the sims 4 but he was able to do it you guys should totally watch the video because it's like a huge eye-opener to be honest here's the gig we're gonna go ahead and use the items that he picked out for comparison against the actual assets from the industrial loft kit at the time of the video he didn't have access to the kit so he was just kind of going off of pictures I thought it'd be interesting to see what it actually looks like in game so first we're gonna go um, head to head with the bed here I have the Cobra Cabana bed from city living that is 6,800 simoleons versus the industrial loft bed now initially you're gonna notice the design is very similar it's almost identical the floorboards look pretty damn spot on the headboards are definitely different even the bedding does have some similarities for sure but it is I guess slightly different we also have some additional storage underneath the loft kit bed whereas you know the city living one we don't there's an extreme Extraordinary price difference this one's only 960 simoleons and also we have some curtains okay on the city living bed I kind of think even though they are similar a little too similar I still like the loft kit one a little bit better now for the end tables we have the loft kit versus the base game in my personal opinion while this could be technically a dupe I do find them really different I did find these pipes here from um, get to work and then these pipes are actually from city living whereas we have um, the little art piece from industrial loft I will say these aren't like a full-fledged replacement by any means they're more of like a nice little add-on to the kit I wouldn't necessarily replace this art piece with the pipe structurally speaking the eco lifestyle shelving unit is quite similar to the one from the pack however I will say there are some differences here and although again the style is very similar 
I don't feel like it's exact, but again, I do feel like it is a fair dupe. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys like side to side or side by side what those look like. Uh, the next item that we're going to go and touch base on is the Cal Plant Terranium from Paranormal uh, stuff. Now, James said that this was a, um, a dupe for or like a, you know, a fair comparison to the one that we get from um, the kit. And I will say that these have similar concepts but definitely this the design is is quite different this is creepy i don't know i feel like the coffee tables are just too damn similar like the design is almost exact like it doesn't really offer anything different for me i mean yeah i guess this is more like retro like mid-century and this is more industrial the actual design is almost freaking identical so uh, if we go over to the little hallway table, this to me is like almost a spot on dupe. Like there's really no difference. I mean, you have like a little extra wheel here. Cool. But like, honestly, it's the same exact freaking concept. So that was a little shocking to see. If we go over to the um, table, here we have the industrial loft kit bar table and stool the stools are very similar like super similar obviously the materials are different as well as you know the table and even the style um but i will i will give industrial loft kit okay <laughs> i will give them a point because i feel like this bar table is not the same like i just don't i don't i don't think it's the same uh bar stools though yeah very 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 similar i don't mean to jump around <laughs> but i guess we could go back over here and kind of finish the items in the living room here here we have the industrial loft couch with the couch that comes from the base game. Um, I don't feel like they're similar. I feel like they're very different. Um, I don't even feel like it comes close. This rug comes with the kit and this rug here, which is scaled up, comes from City Living. I would say that these ones are pretty freaking similar. It's just, it literally looks like the same rug to me. If we go over to the Finders Keepers dresser um, and compare it to the one from the Beast game. There are some similarities here, but I will say that this one is a little bit larger. It does, there are some, some differences for sure. Uh, materials that were used are pretty much the same, but I don't feel like it's identical, but it does, yes, have a very similar style. Here we have the um, brand new uh, vase that comes with the kit, and we also have the pompous grass, which I actually don't know where this is from. Wait, oh yeah, that's right, it's from Dream Home Decor. So, I mean, there are some similarities here for sure. I will say the Dream Home Decor has a much more detailed uh, pompous <laughs> grass than this one does. The vase is prettier on this one, but the actual grass on this is a lot more realistic. So those are pretty damn similar in my personal opinion um james did use these uh roof i think these are roof i don't know what they're called roof roof boxes to simulate the um venting system if you guys are wanting a venting system then this is way more convenient because you actually have to like use cheats to bring this up off the floor um but again you can easily dupe that you know what i'm saying you don't necessarily need to have these vents to do that and like why would you want to anyway i don't know maybe you do who what, whatever i'm not judging um the back on track lighting uh, in comparison to the um, pendant lamp, I think this is base game. Yeah, these are just like exact, like not exact exact, but there's really no like huge difference in my personal opinion. Like it doesn't like it's not significant enough to like go out and purchase the pack just for these lamps or whatever. I don't know. I feel like you could easily duplicate those lamps using a bunch of lamps in game but most importantly the ones that come from the base game comparing of the pipe that came with the kit to the vengeance pipe from city living although similar i will say that i totally prefer the style of the actual pipe that came with the industrial loft kit the last thing to compare is basically wall graffiti now again the only way that i would really use these is probably um on like a venue the exterior brick wall something inside my shoe now 
This isn't graffiti. This is like a old decal that like faded over time, I guess. But going back to my original point for the comparison, if you already own all five packs that contain these items, then you can easily recreate the industrial loft kit without spending any additional money. However, in my personal opinion, I actually liked the assets from the kit and I would purchase it if I did or even didn't have these items readily available. However, go check out James's video. He did make some really good points and I think overall if you are not in the market to spend any money right now, then you don't need to by any freaking means. I wouldn't say that there's anything proprietary about that pack that you absolutely have to have, but of course it's all relative and subjective. I am super curious to know what you guys think. So in the description, there are a few questions that I have for you guys, but I do have one question that I would like to ask you guys directly. If you could create a kit for the Sims 4, what would it consist of? I'm curious because I know a lot of people really want diversity. They want something different, but I'm curious to know what is it? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys.